I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. So much to share with you. But before we go into today's broadcast, can we call forth our daily bread? Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I feel so much ease in my spirit. I'm telling you. And when I say I feel so much ease in my spirit, because of what I see the Lord doing in your life. I see the Lord doing things in your life. Get ready to be healed today. Yes, today. Get ready to be healed. Get ready to be healed. In fact, the Lord is already healing you right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Something is happening in your life. Something, someone, you're watching me. You're feeling the anointing of God's Spirit go through your body right now. Yes, Something is just happening. You know something is happening in your body. Like heat. Not physical heat. But you feel a sense of heat going through your body. I heard the Lord said he is healing your body right now. There's a change. There's a change in your body. So you can actually, thank you Lord Jesus. Yes, you can actually begin to do what you couldn't do before. You can actually begin to do what you couldn't do before. Now, there's someone, you have partial feelings on the right side of your face. Partial um, feelings. Now, it's not like the left side, as though you're getting paralyzed, but not full paralysis. But there's a, there's a kind of numbness on the right side of your face. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is bringing healing to you right now. Yes, the Lord is bringing healing to you right now. You can begin to feel it again. Just, just try and do what you know you, you was not normal before, you couldn't do before. Just go ahead and begin to do. Hey, the Lord is bringing healing. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see someone being healed in the spine. In the spine. The doctors have diagnosed you and they say something is not right with your spine. And that has affected a whole lot of things in your life. So you're just careful trying to get used to it. Hey, the Lord is touching you on that spine right now. You can just bend, bend, you know, just bend, like touch your toes and, and get up, twist yourself and just do what you know was not, uh, was difficult for you to do before. You will receive a sign of a change. Now that's the power of God healing you right now. I see a lady, you are, you as even as you're, as I'm talking to you right now, you're feeling your feet vibrate. You're feeling your feet vibrate. That's the anointing of the Holy Spirit right on you. Receive everything the Lord is giving you right now. Receive it. Thank you, Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Spirit right there on you. Enjoy. Just enjoy the glory of God. Someone you're watching me and, and you don't speak in other tongues, but you've had that desire to speak in tongues right now. If you can just open your mouth and begin to praise the Lord, I'm telling you, you're going to receive those language, those, those, the, that heavenly language come through your tongue. And as you hear, thank you. It, it's happening already. It's happening already. Your tongue is loosed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Be free to speak as the Spirit is giving you a chance. Open up right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Speak freely. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There are marvelous things, marvelous things, marvelous things. Someone, you have an issue with your kidney. I hear kidney, kidney. Your kidney is being healed right now. And I command the cause 
of that problem on your kidney to cease. It ends now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You've done some dialysis before. Yes, you've done some dialysis. And, so, and, and since then, you've been living with this care. But the Lord is bringing healing to you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Man, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I don't know. Have we even called for that daily bread? I, I'm telling you, the Lord is already supplying it. Join me right now. Join me right now. Did we do that, Lord? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Join me. I say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread. I take it. I take it. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Lots of things are happening. You know why? Because the book is opened. Your book is opened. Praise God. And guess what? Guess what? Now, now, why, why is the Lord saying, I was telling you this yesterday, why is the Lord saying is the, is, is the, your book is open? Why is the Lord saying the season for your book is open? Now, that's because majority of God's children are not living con in, in, in line with what is written in the book concerning their lives. They are not. But you see, now God opening the book is bringing forth judgment. What kind of judgment? Everyone, everyone, that have word against you and you I feel the anointing of God's spirit so strong. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Mm. See, sometimes it's beyond human words. Now, I, I'm sharing with you, but even as I'm sharing, my eyes are opening to see. Now, I'm seeing many things. So sometimes when we, when we begin to speak in other tongues, not because we just want to, you know, show that we can speak in tongues. No. You, you're seeing a lot of things and you're wondering, which one, <laughs> praise God, what am I going to enter into? Which should I go? Now, yeah, you trust the Spirit of God to guide you. But when you see lots of good things that the Lord is showing to you, you can only exclaim in the Spirit. Just like Jesus did. You know, I hear folks who say, eh, Jesus never spoke in tongues. He did. He did. Now, many times when people say, okay, well, I think Jesus spoke in tongues when he said, um, uh, what's that word now? Some say on the cross, Eli, Eli, Labat, and that, that, you know, that, that's in tongues. Well, some say, um, when he said uh, Talita Kumi, that must have been some tongues. Hey, the Bible clearly stated that Jesus spoke in tongues. Where? Look, chapter 10. You want me to show you? I'll show you. Praise God. Ikamaya. <laughs> <laughs> so you will understand some of these things that we do and you now know oh no one da praise God hey you remember when Jesus sent out the 70 and then they came back he sent them to go preach and heal the sick and do all manner of things they came back rejoicing you know they were just excited and Lord guess what what even the demons were subject to us in your name Wow! And Jesus began to speak to him and say, Hey, don't rejoice about God. Rejoice rather that your name is written in heaven. Now, this is chapter 10, book of Luke, and verse 21. Look at verse 21. Look at your Bible. Don't, don't look at me now. Look at your Bible. <laughs> Praise God. It says, In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said now that's also the bible did not say he spoke in tongues hey what do you understand when he said jesus rejoiced in spirits how do you rejoice in spirit 
Are you getting it now? Now, if, if you're a good student of the scriptures, like, yeah, <laughs> praise God. Yeah, he didn't just say, yay, Ooh, no. The reason that the writer of this book is Luke. Luke was a disciple of Paul. Now, Paul had taught, this, just like he wrote in 1 Corinthians, you know, chapter 12, and, and, and chapter 12 to 14, you know, Expect chapter 14. You know, he, he spoke. He says, if I, if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays. Right? And my understanding is unfruitful. He said, what is it that I will pray in the spirit? And I will pray with my understanding also. I will sing with the spirit. And I will sing with my understanding also. Now, what was Paul saying? I will pray with the spirit. He, said, he actually meant, I will pray with tongues. And then I will pray with my understanding also. I will sing with tongues. And I was saying with my understanding also, he went further to teach them and says, hey, it's good you, you, you pray when you're praying publicly. It's good you pray with your understanding. If not, how will someone know when to say amen? See that now? If someone just come, can we just pray? Lekuna gadabro tafule kapune sakato. Reto paruko menike perehia. He said, okay, so how will they know when you have said in Jesus' name, he <laughs> so, so said, Amen. Say, so, how? So he, he admonished them that when you're doing public prayer over people, you pray in your understanding. See? But then he testified that you can pray with the Spirit. Now, this is Paul's disciple, Luke, writing this encounter or, or this. Uh, things he has been told about Jesus. So the best way he described what he understood from here, he could have simply said, in that hour, Jesus rejoiced in tongues and said, you see that now? Yeah, praise God. He could have said that clearly. Now that's exactly what he said. When he says Jesus rejoiced in spirit. Now those in those days, remember, he wasn't writing for you. He was writing to, actually, he was writing to Theophilus. You know that, right? Okay. So, now, Theophilus knows, because he's used to their language of that day, when he says someone prayed with the Spirit, someone sang in the Spirit, someone rejoiced in the Spirit. They knew we were talking about speaking in tongues. See? So, he said, in that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit so what do you think jesus did they were come he says hey don't don't rejoice that demons are subject to you in in my name rejoice rather that your name your name is written in heaven and jesus went you know he just stood back and said wow lord wow ha helikumada keto now now he was excited that's why he says rejoiced in spirit he was excited. He was so, those are one of the few moments they saw Jesus beside himself. So excited, he began to speak in tongues. Praise <laughs> God. Yeah, he was so excited. Now when he finished saying those words in tongues, he began to interpret or he began to speak in, this, in, 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 in their understanding. So now they were able to write what he now said. That, that's what you read in, in, in the next verse. Praise God. Did you get that? Yeah. Now, I, I'm saying that because I'm explaining what's going on here. So much joy. Why? Because your book is opened. Mm, 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 mm. Praise God. Watch this. Let's go on. Verse 6. We stopped at verse 5 yesterday. Revelation chapter 5. Mm, 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 mm. Verse 6. Now, let's, let me take verse 5 again. You remember, we're talking about no one could open the book. And John began to weep. And an elder spoke to him and said, don't weep. Because the lamb, thank you, Lord Jesus. One of the elders said to me, verse 5, weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts and of the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. Praise God. The seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came mm, and took the book out of the right hand of him 
that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them herbs and golden vials full of other which are the prayers of saints. Now watch this. When he took the book, the elders, the four beasts, the 24 elders, they fell down before the lamb, right? And then they began to worship. Guess what they began to say? Now in verse 9, it says, and they sung a new song, saying, this was the song they sang. Now you see, they didn't just talk, they sang. And these were the words of the song they were singing. Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain. So when he says he is worthy, what does it mean? He is qualified. It's not just an anointing was upon him. No, he was qualified to do what? Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain and has redeemed all us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Praise God. Do you understand what they are saying here? Now, now I told you, the Lord said to me, he says, what was the content of this book that it was wrapped with seven seals? What was the content of this book that no one was qualified to open, not even to look into it? What was the content? Now, when Jesus, now they, of course, this was Jesus. When Jesus took that book, the elders began to worship. Now, look at the words they were speaking. He that had understanding, let him read and understand. Because in these days, I'm telling you, in these days, we'll speak more in codes. Yeah, we'll speak more in codes. We are not going to speak plainly like we have been doing before. We are not going to teach plainly like we have been doing before. So, hey, 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 get ready to be offended. <laughs> God. I'm telling you the truth. Because there are things the Spirit of God is going to be communicating. Now, now. If you have been called in this season, there are things the Lord is going to be laying in your heart to speak. And when you speak them, you will speak them as the Lord gave them to you. You are not going to as much bother about trying to explain it in detail so that people will understand. No, the ones who have been called to understand will be given the spirit of wisdom to understand your speech. And the rest, it will just all be like parables to them. What's this fool say? They've come again. Relax. Sometimes they may say that to your face. What's all this all you're saying? Please, you push, you go and sit down. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. God have given them the spirit of slumber eyes. Oh, you're going to see that walking a lot around you in this season. The spirit of slumber eyes. Come on, little simple things. You see, this person should understand this thing. They will yap you on top. <laughs> they will speak evil against you. Don't bother about that. Praise God. I'm telling you, even preachers will turn against you. What are you saying? What are you trying to say? Uh -uh. Don't bother about those things. If you are not called in this season, because we are entering into a place, we are entering into the narrow gates. We are entering into the narrow gates. We are entering into the narrow gates. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, I'll read this again. Look at that verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. Why? For thou wast slain and had redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nations. And thou hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Did you see that? Not in heaven. He didn't say we shall reign in heaven. He says we shall reign on the earth. 
Now, this is what the Lord is saying to you. There are things that have been written concerning you that have been hidden. Now, now those things were hidden true. But the season for its manifestation is now. Now you begin to understand why Satan has been fighting you. Mm. Mm. You will begin to understand why. But guess what the Lord said I should tell you? That season of him having power over you is over. And this season is not even you having power over him. It's your time to sit down and watch the drama that is going to be unfolded because judgment time is here. I'll talk to you more about that tomorrow. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you for all the things you've done today. Thank you for the healings. Thank you for the miracles that have taken place in people's lives. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, step out today. Make up your mind. I'm going to have a great day. <laughs> Love you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye.